<laughs> Excited to be here for this one. I'm Todd Grisham. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. Time for our tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Robinson, 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 72.4 inches. And he'll be facing Jorge Linares. He's 5 foot 8 inches tall with a reach of 68.9. Todd, this is well anticipated. I'm so looking forward to this tear up. These two are really up for it. You know what? Nobody believes they're going to lose. Sugar Ray Robinson. Many consider him to be the greatest fighter in the history of this sport. Inducted into the International Hall of Fame in 1990, he fights out of Harlem, New York. El Nido de Oro, fighting out of Venezuela and Japan. He won his first world title back in 2007 and hasn't looked back since. Look at this. These fights are so awesome. Look at that. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, introducing Sugar Ray Robinson. Fighting out of the blue corner from Barinas, Venezuela, a renowned three-division champion of the world, known as El Niño de Oro, Jorge Linares. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. I love this arena. I dream of places like this. I dream of fights like this. I dream of atmospheres like this. But it could only happen here. Good luck. So here we go, should be a good one. Missed him without a percut. And he just missed with that left jab. They're both going for the KO, it's so obvious. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Situation like this target will either make or break or fight it because the expectation from the fans of the... Looks like we're going to see an early night here. It's all offense all the time. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagle's hurt, your chin's hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think, right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for fighting. Good counter left hand there. Right punch. He just misses with that big right hand. Jorge Linares is in some serious, serious trouble. And Jorge Linares is down.
his legs are gone, but somehow he's still in this fight. There's always a way back. Don't ever hurt anybody else. It's so important Here we go for round two. Something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round. I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How did you come back from something else? Not like twice? Poor Alenara seeing cobwebs now. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Counterpunching for both these athletes. This counterpuncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. The reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counterpuncher smart. If you're a counterpuncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first and then you answer in kind. Some nice exchanges from both men in this wrench. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, make it look so, so easy. And there's the bell for round three. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. The counter fighter. And the referee will begin the count. Ten seconds to get up. I don't see any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. And knockout victory, that's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here, I've arrived. Try that again, it will happen all over again.